So, quick little tutorial on how to screw in the crown on the Seiko divers. Um, this is an aftermarket crown that a client felt was uh, not operating correctly, um, felt a little, uh, you know, different on the threading, and was afraid that it wasn't, um, you know, the proper crown or the threads were bad or something was going on. So I removed it, inspected it. Everything's fine, threading is fine, everything. This is an aftermarket crown from DLW. It is um, an SRP turtle crown, but they do look like the SKX crowns. However, they do have the correct threads for the SRP turtle. So anyhow, the issue is, is that a lot of people, you know, will just unscrew these, set the day, the time, everything, push it in and then go clockwise trying to screw it down and it'll feel funny. You can actually strip the threads doing that because there's actually a technique that's used with the Seiko divers to properly screw the crown in. Some people know it, some people don't. I'm gonna tell you what it is. So when you have the crown out to the second click, the outer most position after you've set your time and you're ready to screw the crown in, you want to push it in, holding pressure on it continuously and you're going to turn counterclockwise until you hear a click. That's when it drops onto the threads properly. So let's see if you can hear that. Push this in, holding pressure, counterclockwise. You can hear it click down. That's dropping onto the threads properly. Now you can continually hold pressure and screw it in. There you go. One more time. Outermost position. Push in, counterclockwise. You hear that drop, holding pressure still, clockwise now, and it'll screw down smoothly. If you just unscrew it, push it in, and then push pressure and do that, that's when you it'll bite incorrectly and you can potentially strip the thread. So always push it in, counterclockwise. It dropped right there. Now you can screw it on. Yeah, I'll do it one more time just to show you. Because I like doing it. Push it in, holding pressure, counterclockwise. Drops on, screw it on. Sometimes you have to go back far because when you unscrew it, it might be like right there where it's supposed to drop on. So you're gonna have to go counterclockwise sometimes a little bit further than you usually do. But then you'll get it and it'll be perfectly on, flush on the case like it's supposed to, and it won't eat the threads up. Okay, hope that helps.